Here we have the GB machine and my creative circuit to explain and exploit the power of this PCB right here. We have the 5 volt regulator. We have the SPDT switch that chooses between the regulated 5 volts, which it is currently at, and the input voltage, which is coming from this DC power jack, and it's 12 volts. Now, I'll explain this circuit later, but first, we need to know the difference between CMOS and TTL integrated circuits and their voltage supply. So, here we have the 74LS00. It is a NAND gate logic chip, and if we look at its data sheet, you can see right here, its operating and supply voltage is between 4.75 volts and 5.25 volts. Now that's a very narrow range we have to work with. But here is the LM555 CMOS integrated circuit. Now this is its data sheet from Texas Instrument. And if you can see here, its operating voltage is between 4.5 and 16 volts. Now that's a nice wide range we can work with. Back to the circuit. Now this motor, this 555 timer, and this decade counter can, are all CMOS chips and they all operate in the voltage range of 3 volts minimum or 18 volts maximum. That's the 555. And this motor is going to take up a great deal of voltage because it's turning a physical mechanism. So we'd use our Graydon Benson machine. We'd go normal voltage input, 12 volts. We want the full voltage. Then we'd turn on the motor. See the decade counter counting? and we see the motor turning. And we can use the potentiometer here to adjust the frequency and make the motor turn faster or step slower. Now, these are TTL logic chips and they are wired to make a custom logic gate that you can manipulate with these buttons. Since they're TTL and they can only operate within 0 0.25 volts of 5 volts, we're going to want to go and regulate the voltage so that these chips don't fry. Now we'll turn on the power rail on this side so that these ICs have power and we can see that if we put a 1 into 1 OR gate it lights up, the other one doesn't, it's zero, 0, and if we put a 1 into both OR, put two ones into both OR gates they both light up and the NAND gate here, the data sheet I was showing you, goes to 0 because we have two highs on the A and B input. This has been a display of the Great and Benson GB machine.